Hey everybody, hobo for craft aka Mr. Hobo here, and man, oh, let me just speed that up. It has been so long, and I apologize. I was away for three days at a football camp. I come back, and a huge storm has hit, and my power has been out for five days. And this is the first day that it's been back on, and I've just been dying to get some casting done. Um... Yeah, I've just been suffering a little bit, but it's fine. Everything's cool now. That's my excuse. That's my life story. Um, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have OGS MC. Everybody knows him. The winner of two GSL Super Tournaments. Very impressive. Versus, um, I don't really know this guy's name, but I think we can break it down right now. If we look up at the name, this is Sita. Tail. Oh, okay, so I guess it's Star Tail. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this part right here, if you ever see this part, it just means Star Tail. And this is his actual name, I guess. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong? I think it's Star Tail King Kong. Um, I've heard his name a couple times before, but I, I, I don't know much about him to be honest. But Star Tail King Kong. King Kong. Uh, King Kong. Yeah. Uh, King Kong is a familiar name, but yeah, like I said, don't know much about him, unfortunately. But I digress, we're on Typhon Peaks, ZVP, and we are opening with a 1414 from King Kong. A very standard and very safe build that you can really expand upon in a, a variety of ways. Um, you can go for that fast expansion, obviously. Uh, a little bit later, but you do get it safely as you don't have to worry about anything like uh, getting walled in with photon cannons or early aggression because you do have that early gas and pool, so you can get that about 21 right as your zerglings spawn, so then you can get rid of this probe that's going to be annoying. But it looks like uh, MC did go for about a 13 gate and followed with an assimilator. Now he's getting a second, so this does kind of tell that he's not going to go for a 4 gate aggression. You don't really need two gateways when you go for a four gate, so it's probably going to be um, either a three gate expand is my guess, or he could be going for that patented star gate expand that he likes to do and that he really got famous for after Columbus when he defeated Idra with that so many times. Poor Idra. But as we can see, you have the four zerglings come out, and now you can get rid of this probe. Otherwise, you'd have to take two drones to deal with it, but now it's just easily taken care of. And if you're lucky, you can actually even kill it, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about anything like a proxy pylon or any type of hidden tech. So that's just very nice build. Um, I almost always do this in my ZVP nowadays, so very nice to expand upon. Um, actually, Chef really uh, opened my eyes to this build, I guess you could say. Uh, because after you get your expand down, what you can do is hatch about like 12 more lings. And then the Protoss actually really doesn't expect it. You have speed done by then. You've only shown about these four lings. And then you swoop in. And the timing makes it so that you can hit when he has just a zealot and maybe two zealots and about three or four sentries. So you can actually do a ton of damage. I've even won a couple games that way. So, um, I mean, this build is just really super nice. But it's only one... Okay, looks like there was a pause there. There's only one gateway down, and he went for the expand, so I'm guessing we're going to see a Stargate, which is very smart. Oh, it looks like he is bringing those extra Zerglings, so we could see what I was talking about. Maybe he's just going for one gate expand, though I guess he's not going for that Stargate. So this is actually really risky, because... It's close positions, very nice force field, keeping these Zerglings at bay. But now he is a little bit high, hung out to dry, and I think this expansion just might go down. Microing his Lings around from the attacks of the Sentry, and the expansion will have to be cancelled. You can see that, uh... Actually, I don't know if that was cancelled. That might have been taken out by the Speed Lings. That's actually a huge setback. Not completely positive. If it was cancelled, what I'm thinking is you would see an odd number over here. Um, but it's still on fives and zeros, so it's really hard to say. But it's, as, as we see here, it looks like this one base expand really is taking its toll. 
And King Kong is just all over the place with these speedlings. He is able to take out a probe. And almost a sentry. Very nice force fields keeping it alive. Though he has wasted a lot. I don't know if all of those would be worth it. He needs to be a little bit more frugal with these. And just still keeping these initial speedlings alive. Just being so good with them. Getting all sorts of information. But we did see the Twilight Council down. And now there is a Dark Shrine being warped in so I don't know if this was part of MC's plan the whole time or due to the early pressure he wanted to switch his tech and go for something that maybe can bring him back into the game um, he is a little far behind at this point because he did have to cancel that expansion he lost a couple probes he had to waste force fields so as we can see he's down a good amount these workers were getting transferred so the income's not very true um, to what the situation actually is. We'll see it bounce back up for MC in a little bit, but he is down a considerable amount of workers this early in the game. He's going to have to use a good amount of Chrono Boost on his Nexuses if he will want to keep up in that regard. But now switching to Roaches, and we do just see how safe this build is. Like I was saying earlier, this 1414 even has double extractors, has all of his gases. And after all that aggression, he could have committed. He could have switched to a different tech, but uh, he's going for roaches. Very safe and especially effective when you are in close spawn. So just very smart decision making at this point from King Kong. Looks like he's just going to play it safe. My guess is he'll probably either build up a force here or he'll want to expand again. Uh, he really has to commit pretty hard either way because... Uh, it, it, if as a zerg if you start to hesitate in what you do then you're going to be pretty far behind but oh this isn't looking too good for king kong it looks like two of these dark templar are on the way he's just now morphing and it looks like he's blocked off his ramp so a little bit of a delayed reaction he wasn't quite expecting this but he can completely afford it because of his tech and it looks like he will chase this down or he, will he get one looks like he does get one of the dark templar and now MC's plot is completely thwarted. We do have this proxy pylon, so he could warp a couple more. I'd like to see a spore crawler and spine crawler in the base. Uh, in both bases, I guess, of King Kong. Just a very safe thing to do. And if you're away from your base and you don't have that, and you don't have an overseer, you could really get uh, everything hurt pretty badly. But keeping a couple of defensive zerglings, I really like this very smart does not want to get behind but MC can take a little bit of map control with this so it's it's not completely wasted but we do see let's see six gateways total and now a robotics facility so the dark shrine was just so he could stall for time and kind of switch back into a more kind of standard play he even has a forge and is chrono boosting out some attack Baiting some force fields, very nice. He really doesn't have much of an army at all. Um, kind of surprising, a lot of that has been into drones and he is getting this expansion. Which is actually undefended and this Dark Templar does see it but isn't going in uh, to, to, to stall, which is kind of odd. Baiting more force fields, just very smart. Um, I don't know that MC realizes how little... Uh, King Kong has over here so I think he's just being very precautious but at this point now he has an observer so he can scout out with this um, so that's gonna give him a little bit more confidence hopefully for him transferring a queen does have this expo up now King Kong will start to saturate that shortly we can see his good saturation at his bases now he's starting to put up some static defense we can see all the upgrades he's getting it's like just doing a little bit more of a RS, but we are getting blinked right on top of these roaches. Being a little bit too aggressive, did take down the rocks. Only lost a couple, so I suppose that's worth it. Does give you a bit more map control. And here we go. Oh, but we're going to have a burrow, so none of these drones will die. And there is the spore crawler up. And now MC after... The third is down. He is going to push. Very nice timing. He knows just the right times to push. It looks like these are going to be 1-1. One -one. He does not want to engage in a choke. Nice force fields, but very nice control from King Kong. Not letting any roaches get caught on the other side. 
and we can see that he does have tunneling claws you can see by the changing graphics here those little spikes on there getting a warp in so he is committing to this but he can pull back at any time as a lot of zealots very good idea they will be able to tank a lot of damage we do have another macro hatchery up for him right now and it looks like one will get caught off guard not too bad looks like he's swooping around a little bit oh and he's trying to burrow mass movement of these roaches but there is an observer somewhere there it is with the stalkers we'll be able to pick them off while they are underground and we can see that he's just macroing so hard there we go a lot of uh, actions going on per minute here the zerg is just struggling to stay uh, in complete defense mode here but it looks like he does manage to push MC back. He did hold that quite nicely. Um, many Zergs actually will fall to this timing push when the Protoss is trying to come into the third and very difficult to deal with that choke. But it looks like one Colossus is finally out on this field pretty late uh, relative to normal timing as uh, he did have to go for those Dark Templar. It looks like he's trying to be two places at once, not going to work. There go down a couple of force fields he could burrow under, but I don't know if he wants to. I don't know if he's paying attention or not. If he could split the observer up, that would be nice because then he could go... Oh, no, actually there are two photon cans there. Scratch that. But we do see King Kong is maxed at this point, just purely on roaches. He did have a spire. Oh, actually, he is making some corruptors. So my guess is he's going to poke around a little bit, but once those corruptors come out, he can definitely... Uh, go in for the kill and try to, uh, for that big push with this scary Zerg army. 2-2 two, two upgrades versus the 2-0 of his opponent. Looks like he's going to go right in. He does have a couple Corruptors moving in under these force fields. Just going to go right into it, getting as close as possible. Here come four more Corruptors. One Colossus does go down, but they're still zapping away at these Roaches. Mike, we're in this back. It looks like another will fall. And at this point, he has to make, oh my gosh, 30 Roaches on the way. These poor Corruptors will go down to these Blink Stalkers as they are pulling back. These Roaches coming back to engage to save their Corruptor friends, these Flying Snakes. And it looks like the damage has been dealt to both sides, but the food count really does tell it all. I think King Kong just might be able to take this game if he can keep up pressure like that. Uh, keep his opponent only on 3 base while he does expand. Get this fourth. Very smart idea uh, because you want to solidify your... Uh, lead as much as possible when you're in a position like this but his corruptors are coming a little bit too far forward but there are no sentries in the field so we will be able to come in unanswered blinking back trying to micro even getting on the high ground and I think King Kong is going to be able to come in here and do a lot of damage a lot of these stalkers are going to go down but these six gateways maybe even seven at this point oh my gosh make it about nine these nine gateways are really going to do wonders for him now it is three base for three base still oh no and the dark templar are going to come in what brilliant play from mc i think mc might be in a pretty good position here two infestors on the field but they don't have the pathogen glands and both will get targeted down brilliantly by mc could one colossus go down no he picks off the last corruptor and I think MC's brilliant control just might win him the game here. Denying this fourth. And, oh, it looks like King Kong's going to try to come in here. But I think the Dark Templar actually, oh my gosh, they took out four roaches. This whole hatchery. And this is, wow, just so sad for King Kong right here. I think he's buckling under the pressure. There goes one Colossus, but I think it already did enough damage. The Corruptors are trying to take out the next one, but there are too many Stalkers simply. He does not even need to get sentries at this point. Uh, just way too strong. And I think King Kong is really just in a terrible position at this point. He's only on two base, and MC can just stay on three base and build up his army as much as he wants. Um, it looks like he is going to push out Blink right on top of all these Roaches, and I don't know... How King Kong can come back from losing all of this army. He knows that he cannot run these Blink Stalkers. So he's just going to commit. And he will call GG. Wow. Very good game. Uh, I actually I thought King Kong was going to take it. He was in a very good position. Um, but MC just had a, 
a brilliant control throughout that game. He is known for his great uh, micro and decision making, and it really showed right there. So um, even though he was a little bit behind and didn't get the best out of his Dark Templar attack early in the game, uh, he eventually made it work. So yeah, wow, very well played. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Hobo4Craft signing out.